Actually, uh, the white girls have been having picnics for like 10 years, but they don't invite us. They have yeah, that's why I think that the, 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 the white girls ladies picnic. Yeah, I never invited to that, but then uh-huh. this is going to be women of color. Yeah, this is, well, this is it's going to be, gonna be invited for everyone. We are creating our own yeah. love. So, like you said, is this a picnic? Is, that, this is, a picnic? is there going to be food there, or is this like a potluck? This is going to be a potluck. Oh, okay, like, yeah, wonderful. You can bring a KFC chicken bucket or whatever. Oh, yes, potluck um, is always we're fun. Gonna, we're going to basically have a live broadcast where the girls will talk about whatever they want to talk about this on their minds. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be July the 16th. 
and, we'll, and this will continue to be my what's the tea until that day comes. Well, actually, this is our last, um, this is our season for now. Mm -hmm. And also, I want to tell you guys to look out for my new show that I'm co-executive producing, which is Living Man Made. Wait, wait, I was supposed to come back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I did you to the punch. You, you took my tea, girl. Mm -hmm. So, Ashley, what is your tea? Uh, my tea is, wow. Um, mm. I don't know, sometimes I don't like saying things so I would rather just let it happen. But um, I've been taking courses in journalism. And oh, um, congratulations. Yeah, good. Thank you. I know, I, I know. really can't tell. You can't tell? No. How could you oh. can't tell? <laughs> Not so early, girl. <laughs> I'm, I'm just playing. I know my girl. I'm just, I'm, you know, I love you. With, if I was not in this chair, shame. this show would be in shambles. <laughs> Anyways, um, basically I've been taking courses <laughs> in journalism and basically it's just to um, to craft my um, my grammar and basically be more um, cultural when I speak and just relate to different um, people and ethnicity. Ethni <laughs> oh my god. Ethnicity. Wow. Thank you. So basically it's just something that I, I, could, I probably wouldn't have gotten out either. You're a little bit bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we can only be so perfect. Okay. Um, but you know, it's just great that um, we just changed the narratives that we can only be sex workers. You know, it's just, I love to just hear girls trying to get out of what people expect of us. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see, you know, there, there cannot only be one Laverne, there cannot only be one Janet. There has to be more, there's, there's enough room for all of us, you know? There, you, got, you got Barbara Walters, you got Oprah, you got uh, Diane, Sawyer, Diane Sawyer. So why can't there be, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't have to be just that one, that one girl. Mm -hmm. So everyone, anyone, anything is out there for you to achieve. Just, you know, chase your dreams and, and yeah, so I'm just really excited Live about it, that. Live it, love it, dream. Yeah, thank you. Man made. <laughs> yeah, so what's your tea, Mom? My tea, well, hi, you guys. Welcome back to season finale. First of all, let me say, you guys, it's been an awesome, awesome year for you, for Tea Time with the Girls, for me. So I want to thank, you know, Ashley Bree, Fox yes, Hill for yes. being part of that. Um, thank you, Brooke, for showing up. My tea is I am blessed and highly favored. I'm so happy in life. Like, listen, we just pulled off the wig drive. Um, to those who saw it, you know, it thank was- you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everyone that showed up. Who supported, support. you know, to all them other hoes, <laughs> real quick, y'all hoes better not say shit else to me. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but otherwise than that, yes, like Fox said, I have a new venture coming up. It's called a reality show called Living Man Made. It will be coming out soon. We will be posting it on the Tea Time um, with the girls um, page. So um, keep an eye out for that. It's coming out soon. Um, and just living, l loving, dreaming it. Man made. <laughs> Basically, we're going to have two special guests. Um, we're going to be talking about the controversial bathroom issue, the fact that North Carolina, Mississippi, and Alabama, your hometown, they're basically trying to pass laws that will disable trans folks from using the female bathroom or whatever bathroom they feel um, applies to them. So um, we're going to have a cisgender Christian woman um, born again Christian, make sure I say born again. Amen. Um, her name is Jaquita. She's going to be Bowman. joining Jaquita Bowman. She's going to be joining us over here, and then we're going to have a controversial trans activist, trans Latina activist. Let me get it right. Um, Janice, just Janice, 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 Gutierrez. And she's going to be joining us. And for <coughs> those who do not know, Janice was actually. Um, she was actually a part of, she's actually controversial, and she was a part of, um, oh, how do I word it? A civil disobedience. You know what? I think it's best that we just show an excerpt of it. Let's it, show it. Thank you. Basically, no, because it's not going to, basically, we're going to have Genesette, who was actually at um, a White House meeting, um, an LGBT White House press conference, and she basically had some words for the president, and she interrupted the speech. So take a look at the excerpt, Let's and take we're a look going at to talk team. about it. Get into that team. That the civil rights of LGBT Americans is. Yeah, hold on a second. I, I, okay, you know what? No, 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 no. Hey. Yeah, l l listen. You're in my house. You don't start. You don't no, no, no. Come on. It's, it's, it's not, you know what, it's not, it's not respectful when you get invited to somebody.
You're not. You're not. You're not gonna. You're not. You're. You're not gonna get a good response from me by interrupting me like this. They. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. 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 Shame on you. You shouldn't be doing this. No one more deportation. No one more deportation. No one more deportation. You know us. No one more So we're back, and I want to thank you both for coming here. And um, I want to start with you, Jenniset. Um, we saw the clip. What exactly was the words that you were trying to get through to the president? Well, thank you for having me. This thank you, thank you for coming. Yeah, this is my third time in New York City, and specifically speaking about this issue, what I was uh, bringing up to the administration was to uh, release all LGBTQ detainees currently in immigration detention centers, right? And I was also um, asking the president to stop the torture and abuse trans women are facing inside these facilities. And also, I was uh, demanding to put an end to all deportations. Okay, so, um, so you basically, so has this ever, has anyone ever, I think you're the first trans woman that has ever was just escorted out of, kicked out of the White House. Um, I believe that is the case, yes. Yeah, okay, so, all right, so you, um, so basically, do you feel that your message got through, or do you feel like, you know, it did, all it did was just, you know, it, it didn't really make an impact? I really do believe it got through, and part of that is because we are having this conversation, right, because it just became such a very uh, controversial moment mm -hmm. that many people were concentrating how the action was <coughs> I delivered and spent a lot of time on that versus in the issues that I was just raising t at the beginning. And I have been traveling to different places and people have really been exposed to this issue. Yeah. So I do believe that he got across. So I noticed that. <coughs> oh, you want to yeah. Don't finish what you want to say. Go ahead. 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 You know, and I honestly did not understand not one word that you were saying because of all the other promotion that was going on. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time that I hear hear that. Which, like I told you a little bit before, before the show and stuff, I I was root, I'm rooting for any girl who's rooting for the cause. Now, do you think your message, that same message that you had right here for us, would have been better had you not, you know, <coughs> gave all that and you, you know and you know, gotten all everybody to tell you to shut up and shh and have them escort you, all that. Had Can you I respond? Okay. Uh, this is a, mis a misconception <clears throat> at the time. Okay. <clears throat> because we have escalated every, we have protested in the streets, we protested in so many places yes. to get attention to these women that are locked up. They don't have a voice. Right. They are locked up in there and they are, it's sometimes in solitary. Solitary means that they're just the guardians candy, private candy. So, so they can rape them anytime they want. So, so when they say there's, when there's, there's, this there's is a drastic measure only because we have no I spent two hours in front of the White House, a hundred degree weather, the president show up, no one cared, you know, that I was trying to bring out awareness to this cause. And she's the only one who's been able to get through and to actually get actions about these women. Okay, well, I'm not trying to, you know, to, you know, throw it and drop down or push down anything that you are, but I do believe that you are getting through, but there is people out there who are working for it. My very best friend, Joanna Sofrito, hey girl, is a good friend of mine who works in, in, in Washington, and she's also working very hard for the cause. And I'm not saying that you were wrong, you know, but you were, it was person, place, and time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it should have been... There's, there have been numerous um, um, conferences at the at the White House for not just trans, but you know for other things that are going on in the world, and everybody was waiting for. Like I told you, why didn't you could have waited for your turn or waited? You know, when they said, "Are there any questions?" Then lose your mind and be like, "Me, me, me!" Oh, oh! Until he actually then, but you know the fact that you cut well, the man have, off. Have you been to one of these events? When that happens, the conference ends and the president leaves and you have no room to ask. So Brooke brings very good points. This issue is not that came up overnight. Wait, but you, I understand that. And, but um, you're saying when somebody gets loud in one of these conferences, it shuts down, correct? 
You just said, that's what you just that's what you no, mean by that? No. What did you mean by when that happens and the president leaves and it gets when if I would have waited at the end like you were saying mm -hmm. or implying for me to wait at the end, I raise my hand, mm -hmm. politely ask these issues or demands. Okay. Like they don't give you room for that. Like okay. they leave because they're so busy with whatever. But it's a press conference, which means he's gonna have to answer questions afterwards. They usually don't give press conferences. They just finish the speech and they just go back to do whatever they have to do. Yeah. So, I as an activist, know. the least of my concern is like when is the right time or how is... You know, yeah, that's I'm, basically being an activist. Yeah, like standing up and fighting for what you yeah, No, I didn't think it was... I, no, I, I, I applaud your efforts, sis. <laughs> I really do. I really do. I applaud your efforts, but I just want you... You know, I feel personally, you probably would have gotten hurt a little bit more, you know, or not looked at, you know, with the side eye had you not been, you know, you know... So boisterous, and because I'll be honest with you, like I told you before, girl, like when you start becoming controversial and stuff, they they start looking. I'll, I'll give you. Let me mention Mariah Lopez's name to anybody in Washington, and they all roll their eyes. I don't really want to bring anybody else. No, I mean, yeah, I, I think here. the issue, the issue. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Like, oh, there's, 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 I, I think if we're gonna bring people in, they should be here so they can speak for themselves. She's never gonna be here, so that she can't speak for. She there's a lot of speaking about other privileged stuff, so she. Okay, gets so let's go back to the issue here. There are transgenders <laughs> being deported and held in, de in deportation yes. centers, and they're being raped by prison guards. Thank you so much thank for, that. for that. Thank yes, you for telling your story. Um, so, Jaquetta. Yes. Um, thank you for being here. We've never had a cisgender female on the podcast. We love you and respect you. And we definitely need to have this conversation. So, just let the viewers know a bit about yourself and how you became a trans ally. Actually, like you said, I'm not transgender. It's just that I have friends, blue, green, black, white, whatever. You respect me, I respect you. Right. I, I don't care, you know, if I meet you and you look like Allison, but you were born Alex, but you want me to call you Allison, I'm gonna call you Allison. Right. I'm not gonna disrespect you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, it doesn't bother me. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Talk to us, but talk to the camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're doing a fabulous so, job. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. So, my whole issue with the bathroom, I have a big issue with that because if I have to pee, I'm going to pee. I don't care if I go to the men's room, I don't care if I go to the ladies' room, I don't care if it says transgender, mm -hmm. I'm going to get in where I fit in. Right. Like, right. like what she did, you have to seize the moment. Right. If, yeah. it's, if it's a long line at the ladies' room mm -hmm. and I see the men's room is empty, baby bop, my ass is going in the men's room. Yeah. I don't care who in here, I mean I grew up with brothers. So I know what a penis looks like. Okay. I got my own double D's. I know what breasts look like. Mm -hmm. So if you a chick with a dick, oh well, I'm like, move, boo boo. I gotta pee. You can have okay. that. <laughs> I have no issue. I love that lipstick though. Thank <laughs> you. That's a match. So basically, <laughs> so basically, as a cisgender woman, you don't feel threatened by a trans woman all. in the bathroom. And they've been around children. I took my children to the bathroom until they were 12. I went in the men's room with my boys. Okay. I have an issue if. You let your five year old go to the bathroom unattended. That's my issue. Yeah, I'm yeah, that chick. That's, that's okay. Kind of yeah, that's yeah. The, okay. Yeah. See, that's what yeah. we're hearing. That's, we're hearing. That's my issue. Yeah, we're hearing people saying that the children are unsafe. Well, why would you, you let go to the bathroom with your child? Why a girl go into a bathroom by herself unattended? You know, that's. You know, and it's it's ridiculous, and we're gonna get to religion later. But you know, basically, Christian groups are starting petitions that are getting millions of signatures. That are just wanted to Have those Christians or closeted gays. So what's the problem? Honestly, I, a lot of those um, basically uh, uh, there's a Target, uh, which is an ally to the transgenders. They're allowing us to use their bathroom. Thank you, Target. Thank you. Oh, yes. wow. yes. 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 Christ, there you. are Christian groups that started petitions to boycott Target, and my whole thing is that mm -hmm. their issue is. Um, 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 that the children, the children, why are the children going into the bathroom unattended? Why would you yeah, let your little you let daughter your child go to yeah, the bathroom like, unattended? And a lot of, a lot of bathrooms have yeah. cameras. So, so. so many Republicans out there. Ah, da, da, da. Slipping a hundred dollars on, on the mm -hmm. star girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me and you in the dark. Yeah. You know who you are. Yeah. Me, let's, be, let's call a spade a spade. They've been doing that for <laughs> years. They go to the, to the park. To the what well, used to be the bathhouses back in the it's day. Always the park. It's know, always a park. It's always a park. It's always a park. Yes. You home. Your wife is home. 
middle suburbia with the wife and your kids or whatever, but you over here, you bend over. Okay. Yeah. You poor chick with a dick. So basically, okay. there's, 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 there's... I love the fact that you are so open and so... Cool I'm not here because I hate no, no, you. And I'm just saying, like, the fact that you just said chick with a dick twice without, no, without flinching, I love that about you. I really do like you know sometimes you we know the reality you know so like it is what it is, it is, what it is. you can be you can identify because I identify as as a woman you know but I also identify as you know a, a beat transsexual yeah. a chick with a dick you know okay welcome um, to tea time welcome to tea time welcome. thank you so much um, for your patience with Mrs. Lena Dominguez she had a very um, controversial viral video um, it, that was basically titled trans women versus natural women and we're going to go ahead and show an excerpt of that right now for some of you viewers that are unfamiliar with that so let's go ahead and look at that right now so i posted the thing the person asked or said about preferring transgender women to natural women okay all i asked was will natural born women become obsolete because increasingly it seems that the community is supporting transgender which is their opinion to do so increasingly they're getting the same rights the same recognition as natural born women when let's be honest they're not natural born women they will never be natural born women and that's not to take a stab at it I don't understand how everyone can get their panties in a bunch about the truth the truth is if you were born with the the XX chromosome if you were born with ovaries you know fallopian tubes you have you menstruate if you were born a female you are a female genetically you're a female whatever you choose to modify and I'm being nice because I really rather say mutilate because that's what it is and whoever cuts you up is sadistic but that's just my personal opinion so to be nice and be tolerant of people's lifestyle choices we're gonna say modify whatever you choose to do to your body is your business the problem I have is that particular community feel like it's everybody's business to know what they're doing who they're screwing everything I mean how come they can't do what they do Shh. keep it to yourself whatever goes on behind closed doors goes on behind closed doors nobody needs to know all of that no one needs to know all of that but they feel the need I'm good Rodney thank you they feel the need to tell the universe what's going on with them and to fight for to be to be accepted the same way the norm is accepted and that's not fair that's not fair and I think that's the root of the problem because I don't think there is more any more force more supportive of the LGBT community than women you know how many women would be like, yes, girl, work it. Yes, girl, he, he know how to dance in them heels. He know how to, I wish I could walk as good as him in them heels. Women say that. Women support y'all. We support y'all left and right. We get heat from, from straight men about how much we support gay men and transgenders. We're the first to support y'all trying to be like us. But the problem is that you want to disrespect us, discredit us, and then and then tell us we can't be mad that that's what you're doing. This Giselle Love girl got on a post that had nothing to do with her. She's not a friend, okay? And and the post is public because I value public opinion. However, you have to word that in such a manner where we can all get information. We can all have an exchange of views. But if you coming off hostile off the rip, you going to get met with hostility. And all I did was say, will natural women be rendered obsolete? And here it comes on the post, clearly upset that because after he woke up from his surgery, he was not a woman. He was a mutilated man, which is what they all are. And we just choose to accept them for what they want to be. But the reality is, the DNA says male. You are, a, you are actually, a, a what's the word? A eunuch. That's what you are. Because you've destroyed your genitals. Okay. So, um, basically, we are, we wanted to bring you on today um, to talk about the restroom issue and some of the privileges that transgender women have because I know that you have your own viewpoints um, in regards to how this affects um, cisgender women, aka natural born women, and I wanted to get your, 
your <laughs> viewpoints on that. And before we get started, I just wanted to, you know, tell everyone, and I, I'll say this again, to be very respectful as far as, um, you know, no personal attacks. We're going to just, you know, but we're going to be... Your tongue. Say what you have to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Don't hold your tongue, <laughs> but, you know, no personal attacks, but we're going to try to have respectful debate. Be a lady. Don't be shady. Yes. So, what would you what would you like to say in regards to the the restroom issue? Because I know I saw on your Facebook page that you actually said something in regards to um, sharing the restroom with a transgender woman, a pre-op transgender woman. You know, <clears throat> or sharing the locker room with a pre-op transgender woman that would be a problematic because of the fact that this woman may have a penis. Right. The okay. issue I named is specific to um, military situations. Okay. Um, primarily because in those types of situations, and I, I would like to clarify, I do not speak on the behalf of the federal government. I'm speaking as a person who has experienced the situation, being that I've served my country. We take our showers in an open bay bathroom area, like situation, an area where everyone can see everyone's body full frontal nudity. And I think that it would put, besides uh, just dealing with the, un the general uncomfortableness of it, but I think it would put people at risk for hate crimes because if you haven't gone through the surgery and you're still carrying your or packing, you're having your package with you as well as breasts, and it just creates a whole bunch of confliction and, and issues that are unnecessary. I, I, I've seen similar situations happen just because somebody was overweight and they were in the Bay Area taking a shower and they got picked on or bullied just because they were overweight and they were female. Mm -hmm. So how much more so will a transgender person who hasn't gone through the surgery have an issue? Does any girls want to talk on that? Sure. Uh, my, Brooke name Serga. Is, my name is Brooke Serda. And <clears throat> I mean, but we are okay with that. We appreciate you being an advocate where so far uh, a lot of trans women do not want to be segregated. So I saw your video and I saw some similarities about with colorism. So how do you differ, how do you see this different? I find this this to be a uh, gender version of colorism. You know the one drop rules and certain people are the default of womanhood. And uh, so I find that very problematic because we as women of trans experience, we walk in into the cis womenhood and, and we see that, that you're already fighting amongst yourselves for le, le, to who's the real, who's the legitimate woman. You know, is that the one who can bear a lot of children? Is that the one who has the most curves? Is that the petite one? Or is that the one with the white skin? And, and, right. let, me, and let me understand, Brooke, you you identify as transgender or you identify as a woman? A transsexual woman. woman. A woman, transsexual, I mean a woman. I'm a Mexican and nobody tell me, oh, that's Mexican Brooke. That's Mexican Brooke. And if, if people start using it, then I say, okay, so now you are racist, right? So if I hear <laughs> a lot of times people, T.S. Brooke, T.S. Brooke, I mean, if there's like three Brooks in one room, of course you have to say T.S. Brooke. Okay, Where are the three T.S. Brooks in the room? I'm, I'm trying to be respectful. Okay. I'm going to answer the question. Um, uh, with colorism or racism versus, I can see the similarities. However, I feel like because racism speaks to, uh, it's like we're we're dealing with an issue that may be twofold. Let's say we're dealing with an issue where okay, you are African American or you're Mexican American or whatever race first, then your gender. Because with racism. It's not a gender specific issue. It's a color specific issue. So it doesn't matter what color you identify with. I'm Dominican, Native American, African American. So I identify with all of this in my bloodline. But when I'm dealing with someone who's racist, they don't see, oh, she's a female or she's male or she's gay or she's hetero. They see she's black and she's a problem and you need to get rid of her. That's why I think it's important to not try to, to correlate the two, you know, and then there are those who believe, and it could be argued well, that to a certain extent, heterosexuality and homosexuality are choices. You may be attracted to someone, but you're acting on your attraction, which makes it a choice. 
um, those who are not, who don't take the time to uh, do the research that I do, don't understand that some people have chromosomal issues. You know, they might be born X, X, Y, or some other variant, and that their issue is similar to racism because they were born with a chromosome. Well, issue. I'm so glad that you so, mentioned that. I'm so glad you mentioned that because, you know, there's, there's still pseudo, pseudo science. The one they, they invented to uh, enslave black Americans, you know, there was a disease that you want to run away, that you right. were lazy. They, they used to study the cranial shape to justify that you were a lesser human being. And the, oh, take I it to 2016, you. take it to 2016, a lot of people have been going to, uh, to prison for false DNA. There has been false DNA. It's not a proof. Uh, it's, not, it's still in diapers. Genetics right. is still in diapers. So even when they go back in, in, in archaeology, they find someone and they say, oh, that, was, that used to be a woman, blah, blah, blah. And they, they realize they made a mistake. You know, so, right. so let's not be, be based. We became a British colony. They, they control us with the castas. You know, with the with the one drop rule, and you know, if, if you have one this, and then it's like, so we are starting to police in uh, the same way womanhood. Which one is the the bona fide? Which one is the default womanhood according to yourself? I believe that bodies, and a lot of doctors now they're turning around. Bodies have nothing to do with gender identity. A lot of trans men, they have uterus, they have chromosomes, but they have nothing. They do not have nothing, nothing, nothing womanly about them. And I see you, to be honest, I see you uh, uh, very competitive. And in society, that's considered to be uh, a male quality. So yourself, you're not, you're gender non-conforming right now because you're being very aggressive. Your video, I got very insulted to tell you the truth. My blood pressure went through the roof. And I saw that's not very ladylike. That's not you, uh, that's from a woman who's not secure of her womanhood. I am very secure of my womanhood wherever I go. Wherever I go, I don't hide, I don't try to lighten my skin, nothing. Because I know that my, that my body has nothing to do with my gender identity. The fact that I cannot bear children, there's a lot of cis women that cannot bear children, or they don't want to bear children, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, this, is, this is where I want to stand in. I, I, I want to, and this is just me being, um, just my honest opinion. I feel that a lot of transgender women, and we don't, you know, <laughs> go at me for this, I feel like a lot of transgender women are delusional when it comes to um, their belief system and gender has nothing to do with the physicality because of the fact that what's going to happen is I'm, I feel that, you know, I put myself in a female's shoes and I, you know, I see this all the time in the transgender community where, you know, someone decides that, oh, you know what, I feel like a woman, I want to become transgender. And then, you know, maybe a month later, oh, I'm not a, yeah, I'm not a woman. You're like, yeah, you're yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, Who's fault that? is that? That's yeah. society's fault. But, but the fact of the matter is, it, it, it's, it starts. Huh? Who just said that? Because I, I can't see. That, Brooke, um, Brooke Serda said that's society's fault that they don't let us transition when we were little girls to begin with. Well, but wait, may but I say something? May I answer sure. that? Okay, I, I have did a video, like I said, I, I did say this, that I, I really didn't like that that was the one video that went viral because I have talked about this topic from a different angle. And I think that it's important to note that, that there are people who do have chromosomal issues and then there are those who do not. And that I believe, personally, this is an opinion at this point, that there are those who do not, they are taking advantage of those who do, and they have muddied the water. And I believe that yes. is the, 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 the foundation of why they're able to achieve so much, because who, who, who could deny someone the right of fixing a gender if they were born with both? I agree with that. If you were a that. or if you had a chromosome, you know, chromosomal issue or I think it's Blenfield's disease or syndrome, or whatever it is, if you had a real and valid issue, who could deny you your right in this country to fix that? And I believe ones that are X, Y, and no issue are taking advantage of those who are chromosomally abnormal or however you want to say that. I think that's one of the biggest reasons why it's hard for natural women to get on board or to get past some of the disrespect. And I believe those are the main ones 
that are talking disrespectful. It's the ones that don't have a chromosomal issue. It's sometimes, the ones that have maybe mother issues we or have, sister issues. They get on in there and bash women. It, and, and then expect like we're just going to be continuing to be fine with that. We're not going to be fine. Well, with this is what I will say, Lena. I, I do agree with what you're saying. Now, this is what I will say. I agree a lot with what you say because sometimes um, you said something about the restroom issue about you felt that it would be great if we had our own like separate restroom for transgenders, and I think that that would be. I think that that would solve a lot of problems because that would that would differentiate, you know. Um, a transgender from someone that decides, like Bob, that's 45 years old with the beard, that decides, you know, I feel like a woman today. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a wig on. I'm, I'm gonna be a woman, and basically going into the woman's restroom. And sometimes those type of transgenders may make the girls look bad because they may not be completely transgender or they may be transvestite or cross-dressers. I mean, for that matter, who's to say? You have to start somewhere. Who's to say? You have to start somewhere. But, I mean, let, let the whole cast of RuPaul's Drag Race um, go and use the women's restroom because they feel like women. No, I love RuPaul's Drag Race. You know, so, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I think there needs to be some type of way because that we can differentiate, you know, who's really transgender and who's taking advantage of it. Well, there I, are there are people that are taking yeah, advantage of it. You heard what she just said. She said that um about RuPaul's Drag Race, how they bash Carmen Carrera when yeah. she came out trans. Yeah, there's definitely a divide, Lena. Um, hi, I'm Ashleen. Um, there's definitely a divide between all communities and the LGBT. Um, so um, yeah, we don't. It, it's we're trying to tackle all this, yeah. all the shade and stuff. But um, yeah. So I saw um your video and um the problem that I had with the video, but I didn't want to you know go back and forth with the comments because I don't like it on vacation with blowing my phone up. So basically, because okay. um, I know the video was getting real lit. It was it was really you hit you hit a skyrocket number. Um, you said that transgender should not call themselves women, that they should just stay transgenders. So I had an issue with that because I have always identified with being female. I did not identify with the sex that I was born as. You know, when you're when you're born, you do not choose who you want to be. And if you search the definition of identity, identity is basically how you express yourself and how you feel. So if my identity is female, then why shouldn't I be seen as one or respected as one? Colorism. Because you're not. Okay. Let me yes, answer that, hon, please. Okay. May I answer? Yes, yes go ahead. Yes. Yes. Okay. Please, by all um, means. Um, let me first say, let me start by saying I cannot understand that experience. I can only empathize with it. I can try to empathize with it because, like you said, I don't know that because I was born female. And for the most part, I identify with that. Now, as a child, I was picked on and told I looked like a little boy and all sorts of stuff. So I challenged that going through puberty. But it was psychological. It wasn't chromosomal. And I was able to overcome that. So I, I had dealt with wondering whether I was meant to be a little girl because I had been told so many times I looked like a little boy. So I, I can't fully understand where you're coming from, but... On uh, some small scale, I get it, and the the, uh, the the saddest part of it is, is that we have a understanding of, when it comes to genetics of what a woman is and what a man is, mm -hmm. and the abnormalities that fall in between. We know from what we learn in science that XX is female and XY is male. So that's where, and, and it feels like a disrespect because I understand what you're saying. And I, I really do understand what you're saying, but women, I don't feel like we should share that category. I feel like that. And I agree with you. Serving of your own category, mm -hmm. and that you should have it, and you should be. Because a lot of them okay, identify as two spirit. I want to, I want to respond to that. I, I, I identify as two spirit. Yeah. Okay. I want to respond to that. Uh, you cannot have it both ways. You cannot be claiming that you want uh, reproductive rights that you want liberation, that you are not just your body, that you don't want to be objectified, and you are objectifying us. You cannot have it both ways. So you have to make up your mind. Either either you are uh, you know, just one typical uh, submissive women that identify with the idea of men. James Baldwin said it. 
womanhood comes from manhood. And that's exactly what you're regurgitating right now. You're just repeating, you know, patriarchal, you know, oppressive stuff. Then you're, you're claiming that you're the bona fide lady. But meanwhile, you're as aggressive as hell. And you're very rude like a man. You behave like a man towards us. Bro. No, that, would, that didn't offend me. That didn't I, offend I, I, me. I understand. And that was not ladylike. If you're claiming to be a lady, you be, to be the default, and you're going to be policing womanhood, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, Brooke, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say... I'm, I'm done, honey. I'm done. Answer that. Okay. okay. Answer. Go ahead. I, I, I'm Let her answer, Brooke. Okay. Her. It doesn't matter how a woman acts, what she mm -hmm. is. It's not up for discussion. If mm -hmm. she is born XX, that's her chromosomes. There's that's a pseudoscience. Reality. That science don't let exist. Her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. Yeah, let, let her finish. She's like, what she is is woman. So we're not we're not debating personal choices. We're not debating personality issues or defects or flaws. We're not, we're not debating personality because I'm an alpha female. That's what I am. I'm taking. I, I'm in school for sociology and psychology. I have taken many sociology psychology tests. I have been a federal officer. I am an alpha female. It has nothing to do with being a man. I do not have testicles, testes. I do not have a Y chromosome. So you could have me. That's why we can't have respect for the core the core concept is being misconstrued. What the social construct of how a lady should act has nothing to do with what she is. And that's why women were able to fight for our rights and able to win. That's why we were able to come up out of dresses and put on pants. That's why we we're able to go and be sexy rocket and work on the aircraft when our men went to World War II. That's why we were able to do that. It's because what we are gender-wise does not always equate to how we behave. I am female, period. What you think a female should act like and what I think a female should act like are two different things. Okay, Lena, um, now I'm going to have Miss um, Bowman speak. Miss Bowman here, she's also a cisgender woman, born-again Christian. And she has um, something, um, her, her two her two sons. She's an, also an ally to the transgender community, but she wanted to speak on this issue. Um, Ms. Bowman. Hi, Lena. I just want to. She said hello. <laughs> um, I just want to say this, starting off. I'm an F for female as well. But, you know, I'm pretty laid back. But don't let the pretty face and the long hair and the nails fool you. Okay. Because I get it in too. But as a woman, it's a way that you can be aggressive and get your point across and conduct yourself, not making any dibs at you or your beliefs or anything. Because I feel like opinions are like assholes. We all have one, but or we all are one. Take your choice. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not judgmental or anything. Some of your things with, I can agree to disagree with you. And I can sit down and have a civil conversation with you about it. But my whole thing with the ladies here, or anywhere, being transgender is, you are who you are. And who am I to say who you are and who you are not? Whether you have XX chromosome, XY chromosome, YY chromosome, or you missing a couple of chromosomes. Okay. It, well, is, it is what I, it is. I want to say you know? something. I, I want to say something. Um, um, one of my good friends um, is female, and she told me that she said that one of the things I like about you, Fox Giselle, is the fact that you're standing your truth, and you basically you know you, you know who you know who you are. And she was telling me about this other trans woman that um, that basically has this you know thinking of like oh I'm a woman you should just treat me as a woman. And she said that she felt disrespected by that because you know of the fact that you know as a female. There are some things that trans women will never understand that they go through. Just like vice versa, there are some things that females will never understand that we as transgender women go through. You know, I don't think a lot of females will understand what it's like to, you know, basically have a guy meet you and then basically have him say, you need to walk five steps ahead of me because I don't want to be seen with you in public. You know, but then again, we don't understand what it's like to give childbirth. And that is why I want to go to your issue about Ms. Dominguez when you said, um, this one thing I have to disagree with when you said that you felt that women will be obsolete. I have to disagree there because I have the utmost resp um, respect for females and I feel that saying that women will become obsolete to trans women 
um, is basically giving us too much credit because I feel like a lot of people don't understand this, but you know, trans women, you know, and, and, and there we are basically an inspiration, and we are our own type of we are or we are our own type of people, and we're separate from basically women and men. Um, Prince said it best when he said, I'm not a woman, I'm not a man, I'm something that you can never understand. And I think, I think that really defines what a trans woman is, a two-spirited person. So I feel that, you know, unless we're going to be able to give birth within the next 10 years or so, which I don't believe that's going to happen in my lifetime, you know, saying that, you know, women, females going to become obsolete, I think was completely off. You know, I just, mm, yeah, I oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, I didn't say women will be obsolete. I asked the question. Okay. I said, will we become obsolete? And I don't mind running any videos back or any screenshots okay. back. That's I must have I asked the question. Don't back them okay. And <laughs> secondly, um, I find it interesting that you said y'all are something totally different. Y'all are not male or female. But then you have an she issue is. when I said you need your own bathroom, that you need to address yourself and identify yourself as what you are because you're neither male nor female yeah. or something different. I, I think it's interesting because aren't you the same one that told me I don't act like a lady, I need to check myself and all the other mess that you were saying. But no, that was, just that was broke. That's me, broke. That was broke. I, you, I'm saying that <clears throat> transgenders are something completely different. They should be respected for being something different, and they should respect what they're not. Yes. That's what I... I agree. I, I have agree. a problem with someone who appears to be trying to be female disrespects a female. It makes no sense. And if you followed me or looked at anything other than that one video, you would know I've called women out on being catty and dogging each other. I've called men out on being catty and dogging women. I've called out everyone on their bullshit. Yeah. So it's not specific to the transgender community or the heterosexual or homosexual community. It's wrong but regardless. And I've called people out on it regardless. Okay. Okay. Oh, hi, Lana. This is Jenny Sled. I'm a trans Latina activist. First of all, I'm against the military, right? And you started your conversations and you experienced this in when you shower with other females in these facilities. So I'm totally against it. I believe trans people shouldn't even be in the military to begin with, right? Mm -hmm. So my issue that I have here, like we are dealing with. Uh, teenagers who are trying to find who they are. So who are we to tell them because we don't have a specific chromosomes that we should be uh, putting people in different um, facilities so they can take care of their business, right? Like, um, if we narrow down gender to the uh, organ that we were born with at, at birth, then we're really, uh, leaving a lot of the complexity of what it means to be a human being. And every time someone challenged my identity, I'm not begging to be accepted, or I'm not I'm going to be going through a physical examination to prove people that I perhaps have X, Y chromosomes, or whatever, you know, like, that's not gonna happen in my case. I believe that everyone has the, the freedom to do whatever they wanna do with their bodies and identify however they want to identify, right? Gender is, is something that was constructed through colonization and it has been reinforced by this thinking that we still have and part of it that I'm learning as an activist is that I have to start de deconstructing all this ideology yes. and truly challenge people for who they are and challenge each other and just respect people who, for who they are and uh, myself as an activist I'm just fighting for my humanity that you are trying to take away from by using the biology argument and my dignity. Thank you. Can I say something to you? Not for, because I, sure. I agree with everything you're saying. My thing is, you made a valid point when you were saying the thing of being accepted. You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you like this. Me being an African American woman, I think I'm older than, except for you, no shade. Mm -hmm. All the ladies. <laughs> all the ladies. No, yes, no shade. Yes, no no yes, that's mm -hmm. right, honey. But it's like the brown bag issue. If oh, yeah, I can yeah. me home. That's what she wants for us. And I'm dark. <clears throat> I'm not ashamed of that. And I'm talking that it's brown bag. Thank Dying you. Lovely. Thank you. That you can call me that. I like that. 
Your mother, your grandmother, or somebody might say, oh, she too dark. We don't want no little black babies running around in here. And that's that's the stigmatism that we've gone through as being African-American. <clears throat> and me being an African-American plus size woman, but honey, I know I'm fierce. So what you feel about me, I don't care because what you eat don't make me shit. Right. That's how I feel. And that's how I want all of y'all to feel. What somebody else eat should not make you shit. You don't need nobody <clears throat> acceptance. You have your own acceptance so true okay yeah. so, so but i think the I issue i think the issue here is that we, we we may not need anyone else's acceptance but we're asking like other people to you know to accept us to you know to use the restrooms to you know to make special what do you think you were going before this whole issue started can what i say what do you think you were going to the bathroom at before this all started this is why you know, the ladies should play that ball forever and honey <laughs> Transgender women, this from since this 2016, they're not new. Yeah, I you know? just feel like we should use some, <coughs> some of these tax dollars to facilitate a restroom specifically for gender nonconforming and transgender people. I agree. Yeah, I, that will solve the problem. I right don't there. agree. I don't. Okay. I, that will solve the problem. Right. Right. Let me. Um, That's what you know, do. Let me. Um, not for women like me, honey. I'm gonna say something. Because a lot of us. Yeah. Okay. Can I say this real quick? Yeah. Hi, um, um, her name is Mrs. Um, Lena Dominguez. Hi, Ms. Dominguez. I'm Gia Man May. Now, I'll keep it real sweet, fabulous, and real quick. Um, when I saw your video, I was kind of offended. It was like, okay, another rant, you know, from somebody, you know, trying to get their likes up. And, um, now, my question to you is, and it's no shade. My question to you is, would you have put up this rant had they not started speaking about it? Had they not, have you always felt uncomfortable? Or did that, you know, that idea pop in your mind when they said they're banning transgenders from the, because you know, truth be told, you probably pottied and, and kikied and, you know, and shit and next to a whole shitload of transgenders without, you know. Didn't you know, know. And didn't know. So like, was that, was that, you know, cause the, okay. Are you asking her if she's had a personal experience? Yeah, or not even a personal experience. I'm I think she wants viewers. Uh, well, okay. That's how people so, get viewers. And, so. and, okay, well then. Uh, hold on. Let, let, let me answer. Okay, um, don't demonize me. I'm not I demonizing you. I'm well, not you de are, honey. I'm you are. Bro, that's bro. Me, bro. Yes, she is. I'm not demonizing you. I'm not demonizing us. I'm not demonizing you, sweetheart. No, that's, that's, that's her opinion. Um, I'm feeling like one in particular, I'm sorry, if I don't remember how to say your name. I feel like you have a little more animosity towards me, so you're, you're demonizing me. In my video, I clearly state it's not all. And that's why I've been able to make friends with like 20 plus gay, transgender, all that. But you still want Congratulations, that's what all my friends are black. All my friends are black. What the hell is that? But you still won't use the bathroom with them? Uh, um, heterosexual people to listen to what they have to say. You've been able to make friends, and we've had some very disruptive conversations. But you know, you know. So I did not say it was all. Okay. So I'm like this. If you so you would use the bathroom with, with a transgender person? <laughs> what? You would use the bathroom with a transgender person? She's asking, would you uh, use a? Would you, would you use a? She was asking, would you use the restroom with a transgender person? Knowing that that was yeah, a person. Yeah, I have a problem with that. The issue becomes when they don't look as feminine as some of the others. Well, okay, and oh, why would that be feminine? If they look I mean, like a cross-dresser. Well, you know, it's the, the so that, that's the case for me. So we're back yeah. to the passability. So basically, if they're passable, well, they, uh, so basically you don't want I someone who looks... I hate to say it that way, but it's reality because the ones it's society. that are passable, Society makes you feel that way. Well, no, I said this. I said so. You don't think episode. that it's so. You don't think that now, well, with this being said, it puts pressure on women to look more like women. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Yes, are you living a forced if life? We, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me ask her a question. It's one question at a time. Okay. Yeah, one question. Yeah, what I was asking was that because yes, I understand. Yeah, it was getting a little rowdy. Yeah. Okay, we're calming down now. I'm sorry. So, Lena, do you not think that? With all this bathroom, um, it's not only affecting the trans women, it's now affecting the cis biological natural women because now you have to be looking more like a female to be accepted as a female. Like and you said. Yeah. And I wish you good luck, honey. 
in the bathroom, the Bro, ladies' room. Stop that. So that's basically, nice. well, that she's not nice in her video either. Okay, well, so basically, what I'm asking is now she's taking it back. Well, gay and transgender is two different things. So, (laughs) what happened was, I I get asked all the time if I'm a transsexual, if I'm a man. I get asked. So, do you live in Atlanta? Let her speak. Come out, come out. Let her speak. And because I am a woman, whoever they look like, they trying to look like me. I'm not trying to look like them. This is how I look naturally. I didn't pay for no I didn't pay for no cheekbone enhancements. This is how I normally look. Okay. So Do you... I find it offensive. So when this person asked me, are you a female? And I said, yes, I am. And he said, well, he prefers transgender women. I was like, oh, well, that's the first time I've ever heard that. So I asked my friends. I'm like, guys, what do y'all think about this? This is interesting. This is the first time it's ever happened to me. Do you think we'll be obsolete? I asked my friends that. There was a transgender by the name of Giselle Love that hopped on my post and bashed women, bashed black, called us niggers. I screenshot everything this fool said, and that's the reason why the video was created. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought you, you, you did that. Yeah. Got on my post that had nothing to do with them and bashed women. Said they do it better. That they don't. That they don't want to be a woman. They just want to live like a woman. They don't want our periods. They they don't. They don't want all the. And those are the trans women. Those those better, even though it's paid for. That's those the are the girls. Coming at me is the reason why I need to be. Okay, my friend. Those are the respect trans women. Respect. Respect. If those, you those, want respect, you have to give it. That's why I did my video because I was disrespected from someone in your community first. Yeah. Maybe it but don't. Your community, like mm-hmm. you want me to check mine, we would have so many issues. But I think that's where the core of the um, of the, of the problem is because that woman does not represent all of us. Yeah, and it's so funny that she said that her because um, a lot of people. She said we. She spoke on behalf of all of y'all. And when I did my video, I said yeah. I know it's not all. It's some, and yeah. those some that speak louder than the wall, the ones that aren't the problem. That's you feel- why I specifically said it's not all. Do you think about it. Had I said it was all, do you think I would have been able to make the friends that I made? Do you think the transgenders that came to me and talked to me that I end up having a friendship with? And um, Angel, Lucinda, Nikki, the ones I talk to that are transgender on my page that my friends who are heterosexual are becoming friends with and respecting them for being people regardless of gender. Do you think that would have been able to occur if my video was as close-minded as you say it is? Um, I have a question. I have a question, hun. And this is Gia Man Made again. This is not Brooke. <laughs> uh, shit, rolled her eyes at me, honey. Uh, <laughs> listen, do you think, don't you think it's kind of a mean girl thing to be like, you can't come into the bathroom to, to, to pee because um, you don't look the part or, you know, that's like, that's like, that's like you were telling, you know, a girl in the bathroom, oh, you can't come in here because you're not, you know, as feminine or. And you're not pretty. You're not pretty. But we do that in the transgender community. Well, we, we don't we get girls in the bathroom. Really? We, we put down girls that are less passable. Well, yeah, girl, that's, listen, that is life. We put down girls that are less passable. And I, and the, yeah, we yeah, call them bricks. Thing. We call them bricks. And a lot of the transgender I, girls, they put down the drag queens. Very respectable, very logical question about the mean girl behavior. Yeah, I was picked on it. So I respect what you just said. I agree with that. That's why my position didn't come from the same. It was somebody coming at you wrong sideways. My position on the bathroom situation came from the fact that I knew people would take advantage of it. If we said, yeah, okay, like Target, Target right. said whatever you whatever you gender identify with, you can use that bathroom. You know how many people who are not transgender who are yes. perverts, they have they are arrested. It's not. That's that's it's what I'm talking about, and I want to I want to be very vocal about this, Lena. Again, primarily Lena? the issue isn't even the transgender community; it's all the perverts and pedophiles that are saying, "Hey, I'm not so much the perverts and the pedophiles, but it's that's the problem." Lena, this is what I want to say. I agree with that, but I'm just saying this this is going to create an issue with. 
the guy or the gay guy that says, oh, well, I feel like a woman, I want to be a woman, and he wants to use the, the girl's restroom, and then two days later, oh, I don't feel like a woman anymore. Well, we and it's just, and it days. just makes it, it makes it, it makes us look like a joke. It. it makes us look like a joke. And I'm against the girls like that. I feel, you're gender, you're I gender, feel, gender non -conformist girls. I, I'm <laughs> against the girls that are taking it as a joke. You know, because of the fact that that's why I feel that there should be therapy before you start taking hormones so you can find out if you want to do it for sure. Because a lot of girls, they transition for the wrong reasons. They, they transition, they they transition they to get men. They transition so they can put up an ad and make more money. You they know, do. so they and do. a lot of girls need to hear this. You know, a lot of girls are so quick to say, a lot of girls are so quick to call out a girl like Lena and say, oh, she's, oh, she's, oh, oh, she's against us and everything. Well, when sometimes when you don't really, if you, it takes a really core person to listen to exactly what she's saying and not be offended and listen with an open mind. And I feel like sometimes you have to listen with an open mind, even if you disagree with some of right. the things that the person says. Because if you listen with an open mind, you'll see that this person is not coming from a hateful place. And if she was coming from a hateful place, I wouldn't have even propose having her on the show. Okay, so Lena, um, Lena, this is, this is Ashleen again. Um, I want to um, actually, um, I want to thank you for um, being honest about yeah. the fact that you have been that you have I want you to, I want to I want to thank you for being I want to thank you for being honest about the fact that you were you were once mistaken as a trans woman because a lot of females it happens a lot because you know it happens a lot. today 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 and I would like to speak on that yeah today's women yeah definitely today's women today's woman is definitely not what it used to be you know now everyone mm -hmm. you know fake asses you know it, it looks good but everything is questionable so yeah, now doing, a lot of men are doing pussy checks now because of the yeah pussy check. let them see it from the back no. so, so they, they want to the girl they want to see birth certificates so basically are upfront about the fact that they're transgender. Yeah, so and I think every guy I've ever had ask me if I'm a woman, they say they've been tricked before. Mm -hmm. So I think that that causes that's horrible. Not only for that's those so horrible. Who are, so to speak, who I okay. respect, but those who are women like me who might have a stark features or strong features or body features or however, whatever you want to say to phrase it. I think it's unfair to both sides for there to be a transgender, whether it's a transgender male, transgender woman, to lie about yeah. what they are. So basically, you're protecting men, right? To hurt you're very sides. concerned about men so being full. In yeah, my video see. about the bathroom situation, I said that transgenders need a bathroom like the family bathrooms that are at the airport, where anybody can yeah, go the unit and okay. have privacy <laughs> to themselves to do their business in peace. That's what I said. So what if somebody comes and proposes to have segregated bathrooms again for blacks? They have the same argument. I they make the it. same argument you're making, honey. And guess what? Five years ago, we had an epidemic. All the teenagers that were killing themselves for people is spewing hate like you. You have to be more responsible because our kids are killing themselves because of people hateful like you. Okay, okay. let me say something. If yeah, because you're speaking on stuff and it, it, it's, it's, it's borderline disrespectful. Um, if you, if they had given us bathrooms that were on the same level as theirs, we wouldn't have fucking complained. If they had given us bathrooms that weren't broken and the toilets didn't fucking work, we wouldn't have complained. No, if our yeah. bathrooms look as good as the white folks' bathrooms did, I promise you yeah, we wouldn't have complained because we were over there building our own yeah. businesses. We were building our own houses because we had all the damn skills because we were the slaves and they sat in the house and didn't do shit. We had all the skills. We had our own banks. We had our own businesses. We had our own neighborhoods before we were we were uh, betrayed by the government. When Marcus Garvey wanted us to leave, they sabotaged the boats. Before you talk about something, make sure you have the motherfucking facts. Not the same. I'm not the one who wants segregated and bathrooms. I'm not the one who wants segregated bathrooms. I don't need to check no facts because you're the one who's proposing segregation. You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm a. You being very disrespectful. Yeah, I'm a. Yeah, I am disrespectful. Brooke, Brooke, Lena, Brooke, Lena, Brooke, Lena. Okay. I'm black first, female second. Bet it up. 
All right, Lena, before we let you go, I want to just ask one more thing. Um, and this is something that I know this is a very hot topic. Now, you remember when I initially spoke with you, I, talk, I talked about the fact that um, I felt that you um, were, you were not really that comfortable with some of the privileges that transgender women get and some of the privileges like being able to change our birth certificate from male to female. Did you want to speak on that? Why do you feel so offended by that? Hello? Um, remember I asked you to tell me yes. what some of those what some of those rights were. Yes. Because I didn't know, you know, and I'm still I think that um I, I wouldn't call them privileges. I would say that they're rights specific okay. to transgenders. I feel like I said before, I feel like transgenders need to be a protected class, just like being a woman is a protected class. You can't discriminate. So instead of having a half only ID, you th you're I feeling that it like should be T? Transgender. Mm -hmm. I said instead what? of having F only ID, would you feel better if, if it was T? It's T for transgender. No, I, think, I, think, I think just to put T is disrespectful because you transition to something. Whether it's transitioning to a male or to a female, you transition to something so to respect the fact that you were once something and you transitioned to something else T and whatever you are now should be on the driver's license I feel like birth certificates should not be changed because what you were at birth is what you were at birth birth certificates only show what you were at birth not who you are now okay so, so, so the, the ID yeah. should basically say for a trans woman it should say TF trans woman trans female yes. So okay. Yes, so it's respect. I, I, I understand. I, I respect. I respect your opinion. But I want to just. Uh, we're gonna leave. We're gonna let you go. And um, thank and you. And I so want to say. I want to say one thing, Lena. I'm from Birmingham, okay, Alabama. Okay, respectful to me about race. Please don't. What you say? No, no, no. I was gonna say. I'm. I'm originally from Alabama. Oh, she thinks. So oh no. Oh no. This is Fox Giselle here. Um. I wanted to say. Um. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. And recently, I had my birth certificate changed. Now, with Alabama, with it being such a conservative state and it being a red state, they basically have it on the birth certificate, my original name, that it was changed from this name to this name. And the only way that they will allow me to change it um, to F is if I get a sex change. And I recently found out that even if I do get it changed to F, it will have to stay on the birth certificate that I have that I've undergone sex surgery. So oh, okay. yeah, so okay. I just want to put that out there. Not, not not all states are um are going to be that you know yeah that cutthroat or so. Because I know in New York they won't even they won't even acknowledge the fact that you know that you were male at one time. But I know in Alabama they want you to. I I guess they want to. Put it out there that you know. Don't be fooled. This person was once male. <laughs> so I just wanted to just put that out there. Uh, and Lena, um, since you know, and, and um, I, I want to, um, yeah, just definitely again, thank you for coming on and, and speaking. Yes. Um, also, yes. I wanted to, since you said that you were studying sociology, I wanted to definitely um, advise that you read the book called um, Silent Spring by Rachel Carson's. And basically, Rachel Carson's wrote a book in the 1960s about the radiation and the chemicals in the plants and that um, Nestle was leaking things into the water that was destroying the chromosomes of men and women. So when females were giving birth, yes, when females mm -hmm. were giving birth, they were giving birth to transgender children. Basically, mm -hmm. a soul mix-up, um, chromosome mix-up. So definitely search that book, Rachel Carson, Silent Spring, okay? Who am I talking to? Who's You're talking that? to Ashley and Ashley Breathe. Hi, Ashley. Hi. Uh, may I say this real fast? Yeah. I agree with that. I would definitely check out that book because I did a video about bisphenol A, which is a chemical used to make resins hard in plastics. And that chemical was initially created as a low, uh, uh, a low estrogen to be, to be used as a birth control in women. And so for it wasn't strong enough to be used as a birth control, yeah. so they shelved it. 
So later on, they found out it makes resins hard and turns them into plastic. So our plastics, even our receipt paper, has this chemical, which is an estrogen. I, I totally agree with what you're saying. I, I'm going to check that out because I'm a firm believer in fact and research. Yeah, so like I'm saying is that if, if since that being said, you know, if we have, you know, a, a soul mix-up and mixed chromosomes, we can't help how we feel and how we were born as. Yes. It's I not a choice. That. I don't have a uh, you know, you I said, never said I had an issue. You that. said it's a choice. The lifestyle's a choice. That was my only issue. Was disrespect. Okay. 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 Mine too. Okay. So we have we don't stop that. Yeah. We are very disrespectful. And in the comments, I didn't want to be disrespected. Me neither. We're even. You're entitled to your opinion. Well, we're, 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 we're all entitled to our opinion, and we're all <laughs> here to to debate because some sometimes having a healthy debate. Will is what's going to get us to the next level of understanding each other, even if we do have opposing sides. So, Lena, I would like to thank you so much for coming thank on you our so show. Much, yes, um, we will keep you updated with um, when when the actual show airs on YouTube and premieres on YouTube, and um, definitely um, we will also keep you updated with any other um, things that are coming up in regards to gender issues. Because I know that you probably want to be informed about that. All right. Thank you so much. All thank right. you. Thank All you. Right. Bye. That was very heated. I mean, Brooke, you were very passionate. Um, like I said, you know, we actually had to ooh, take a breather there because, you know, it got really Get intense. Get the energy out of the room. It got really intense. But, you know, at the, at, at the utmost thing, we, it's very important that we respect each other's opinions. <coughs> You know whether we disagree or agree. So that being said, um, I think Ashley, you want to bring up the last topic. Um, the last topic of we're gonna close up. That was a lot. Um, oh, right. Yeah. Right. Um, the last topic would be religion. Um, a lot of the whole bathroom, um, all the bathroom fuss comes from. There's some religious freaks that feel like, oh, you know, it's it's you know. First off, the Christian groups, the activists, they started the petition to boycott Target. Target was allowing, they were the first co major company to allow trans to use the bathroom they identify as. So it reached over a, a million um, signatures. So now um, my question is like, why do people use religion to preach their hate? You know, before we even go into that, we were talking about this just a couple of days ago on, on the phone, that there's been so many names that have been oh yeah, been there was yeah. Around. So basically, social media has blown up, and there's a lot of memes. Let's look at some of Take a look at the memes because some of them are hysterical. You know, people. A lot of people are basically taking their time and day, and you know, basically all you're hearing <coughs> about is the bathroom issue. You know, and there's you can also there's, see there's a meme of G, um, Gia Banks that she's promoting. There's a, um, a there's Shout bigger issues sister. happening around the world, and you know, it's definitely to take your mind away from the other things that are going on. Yes, like, and now I want to say something about the nuclear um, plant that's leaking right now. I want to say something about the um, about the religion and things of that nature. I was born as a Catholic. Uh, I was raised as a Catholic. So um, I know all about how I feel, in my opinion, a lot of religion was made to control the masses. Yeah. Because a lot of things that are in the Bible mm -hmm. are just so contradictory. Um, now, I know we moved from this topic, but I didn't get a chance to really speak on this because it was so intense. But it kind of relates to this because of the fact that it does, I feel that it does come from a lot of religious freaks and their views. But I'm from Birmingham, Alabama, and it does break my heart that there are transgender male and females that are in Alabama that are going to suffer because of the fact that Alabama has passed this law saying that basically this is what they're saying to transgender people. You know, if you got a pee while you're out in public, hold it. You got a <laughs> shit, hold that shit. Take that shit home. That's privilege. You can't use the men's restroom or the women's restroom. And that's why I have a problem with it. That's why I have a problem with it. Because I, I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. I remember, I remember my father telling me, because he grew up in the 50s and the 60s, of one particular time that he was, you know, going through the park and it was a really hot summer day and there was a whites only water fountain and a blacks um, a for color. And of course the for coloreds was, 
was no, it was rusty. The oh. water was all dirty and everything like that. So you know, as tempting as it was, he went to the white, the whites only um, water fountain. He drunk from it. Not even five seconds from him drinking from it. He got called out by five, you know, Caucasian men, um, ca Caucasian boys around his age. He was around 12 years old. He got chased for about 12, um, for about three blocks or so. Now they never caught up to him and everything, but it was just a shameful. Yeah, mm -hmm. very shameful. And I think and we're going to be history. bringing it back to this these days. Us a history. Yeah, uh, I'm disgusted by our history. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So basically, this is how I feel about religion. Um, I don't believe in religion. I know that people might be offended by that, but I think that um, I, I, there's just a lot of questions that I feel that are unanswered for me. Um, I don't know how you girls, everyone else relates. I'm spiritual. I would love to know, but um, I just feel like from what I've read in the Bible, it, it, I'm just really confused with who was the good and who was the bad. You know, um, right. I know that God basically casted a curse on all women for eternity to bleed for seven days as a way to get back from Eve from eating the yeah. apple. Mm -hmm. The apple from the tree of knowledge. And it's almost like God was jealous of women. It seemed like, you know, God basically has a history of punishing women and it makes me it, I don't want to be a feminist about like this. God is a gay man or something. <laughs> yes, yes, that but, sounds like that. No, but, but it, I, no, I, let me okay, okay, I, I don't wanna be like Okay, that's, that's not what I was getting at. What I'm trying to say is that um, from what I've read, it just seems like God has been really cruel to women. And this is, and, and I'm not a biologically born woman, but I still feel like there's some hate going on here. You know, a lot, there's more, there's more um, consequences that women have to face in the Bible than men. Mm -hmm. And um, I just don't, I'm trying to figure out who is the good guy. Is it God or is it Lucifer? Because Lucifer, if Lucifer you know, if you or if God even exists, because yeah. if you search, if you search the word Lucifer, the name, it means barrier of light. So if Lucifer is the barrier of light, then what does that make God? The barrier of darkness? You know, I'm trying. I'm just so well, confused. Uh, just think it. about it. How uh, whites uh, asserted their power by promoting that white was the color of purity, while black, they literally. Uh, change the meaning of black and white. They they, they, they just put, put it like this, and now we're all suffering the consequences. Yeah. Because we have the we even when it's not official, they still hold the one drop rule. And, and you had mentioned to me you spoke on the phone. You were talking about how basically um, the black market, the whole black market term, is because black is bad. Yeah, the that's black what, sheep. And this so is the black that's sheep. What and they, 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 they tell you when they want you to, to conform. That's what people are they want to you believe to be, that black is they bad. They say, what do they say? Lighten up. You know, just. And this is interesting coming from you because looking at you, I would think that you would benefit from from white privilege. From, from and I am. I am. I have, have a lot of privilege. To white. Yeah. I have a lot of privilege. And, I, and I'm not afraid to talk it because. You know, there's no way I cannot leave asleep at night if I don't check my privilege and I don't talk and about. And you're wearing the Black Lives Matter. Yes, because you know, I it's nothing matters. I I own my apartment. I I can I can walk. I can go to Barry Dogs Goodman. Nobody's following me. I go wherever, and 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 you know that's that's wrong. I'm not going to stand for that. And and, and so you I, I you just read the my conscience. My conscious no. You just I can't get the power. You know the power of this. So you know the power of your privilege because you're um, yeah. you're, you're closest to whiteness. Okay. They they always go like I've seen in my country the original peoples they're getting treated worse than undocumented people here, and they were the ones who were here way 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 before even Donald Trump families. So the darker ever Mexicans, thought coming to this continent. So the darker Mexicans were basically. They're based every even in other countries. They had to, they your, had to live in the mountains That's like to Puerto escape. Mm. Yeah, in Puerto Rico, in every country, they have to hide in the mountains, and, and you know they they're not allowed to go to even the store. You know, I was I was shown a video from one department store. There were some people got tired. They sat on the steps of the of the department store, and they brought a water hose to get them out because they're considered an eyesore. You know, indigenous people are considered an eyesore. You are, they are depreciating my real estate. So they're trying to get browns and black from the real estate areas. That's what it is. So their house, instead of being worth, like let's say a quarter of a million dollars, 
now they're selling it for a million dollars. That's that's what it is. And it's funny that you mentioned religion because you know I shut down uh, after this lady uh, mentioned that all that she was talking about came from college because you know college is a, is a is a man's territory. I find that that's an indoctrination mm -hmm. from the whites because you know when when you go to college you're getting a lot of debt and who that money goes to to white people. The colors are owned by white people, and the and the propaganda. This is all, all propaganda in the colleges. So it did not come from her. So I understood now, and I said, "Oh, that's what she's talking about." That, and I always. It's not only religion; it's also universities. People who go to universities they look down on other people, and they have these stories. This the the this this knowledge. They think we have the knowledge, but it's propaganda because white people have rewritten history yes. you know that this is why they're making egyptians white you yeah know? yeah that's what another thing because um, i'm trying to figure out why was jesus if jesus was from like brown hair egypt, egypt. what was he from in the bible says jesus had a hair of a lamb that's like my hair like yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was a semi, semi man, like yeah. almost uh, not white, not white. So it was semi, yeah. semi. That's yeah, what so the well, semites come. Yeah. So as a Christian woman, would you say that are there things in the Bible that make you question your faith? It's all things in the Bible that makes me question everything. Okay. You know. So what keeps you in in the religion? My thing is. My walk with God and my spirituality, that's mine. Yes, I don't okay. Amen. And what's, what's yours is yours. And I feel as though what God has for me is for me. Amen. And you and nobody else yes. can take it away amen. from me. To a white God or a black God? I pray to God. To God, amen. Okay. He has no color. Yeah, I, I believe that there are higher yeah. powers. Amen. Amen. I believe in a higher power. Yeah, I feel I like there's an unknown power. They say that in God. Amen. Yeah. I pray, sweetie, I pray all day. I've been praying since we were so on Skype with that young lady. Okay. You know, oh you <laughs> so what about, so I was what about? to hold my tongue okay. because, okay, as a, she's a woman, I'm a woman, mm -hmm. okay, and like I said, I can respect you and I can agree with you to disagree, but like she said, it was borderline disrespect, and I understand where Brooke was coming from because that would be the same issue if the abortion issue, if I wanted to have an abortion. And you told me I, no, I can't have that. Hell no. And that's my, this is my body, that's my choice. I have the issue now that if I want to get my tubes tied, my husband has to sign the paper. Right. For me to get my tubes tied. Wow. See, but a lot of people don't know that. Mm. You understand wow. what I'm saying? It's a man's world. It's a man's world. Yeah, just world. teaching us right yeah. now. This is, okay. Honestly, we're women, we're living here, and we're, I'm going to be honest with you, I feel as though we're the backbone. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, well back, to, back to the whole you Bible know, story. You know, God basically punished, and anyone, anyone can search this, I'm not making this up. This isn't Ashley's uh, Bible version. No, because Eve did that apple. Yes, that, she, a, that apple she from saw, the tree of knowledge. She had. God did not want a, Adam or Eve to know any knowledge. knowledge. He put them on this earth and he lied to them. And he told them but see, this he is was keeping this information to them. The way, the way it metaphor. seems like in the Bible was like Eve was like this Jezebel, this harlot. And she was like, Adam, bite, Adam, bite. But the man came to seduce her before she's even seduced Adam. Another man came to seduce her as a form of a snake, okay? The devil came as a form of a snake. Yeah. Was a, Lucifer is a man. But what a lot of people fail to realize is Lucifer is, a, is an angel that was banished from heaven. Right. And he was in, not only was he an angel, he was an archangel banished from heaven, right. meaning he was like God's right hand man, right. okay? He was like God's best friend. He was the and best choir director. Exactly. Right. Right. And why he was banished was because he wanted to become God. And in the Bible, I want you to, not stop saying that's what I want you to do, but if, if you ever choose to read the Bible, yeah, you I've will see it. that God is a vengeful God. Yeah. God is jealous. Of, okay, God is shady. Let's put it like that. Yeah. Okay? So he has no one before you. And no one, yeah. no one, and whatever you do, love, trust me. I've been there. I have fallen from grace and got myself for quite a few times. He will take it away from you. Okay, so what about yeah. the people who are, are pure, good? Who's they pure have, good? There's people who live. Who? There's people who don't. Children. Like, you know, I don't children. 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 What about people yeah. who suffer and who have who basically bad things happen to them? You can't tell me that. Oh, oh, I I I I I I I I okay, if that's the case, I almost died. My husband came home and found me on the floor. 
Everything I happens for a reason. Everything, exactly. I had um. Bowers Good things happen to bad people. Good things happen to bad people. So why? Why do? Why would a god let that happen? That's the devil trying to knock you down. But see that. Let's not get into religion. That's the topic. Religion. That's the point. Because. For every action, there's a reaction. And I'm going to tell you something. The devil comes at you uh-huh. in all good, good ways. And the devil doesn't come with the tail and the two wounds. Okay, so let me, let me I just want to know, love. this is the question I have. What has the devil done? What what punishment has the devil has, what punishment has the devil um, given to people? Because I'm trying to figure out from what I read in the Bible, it's God who's the one banishing people, um, torturing people, destroying land. I'm, I'm just so I, confused. I think I think what she mean what, 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 when you mean by that is what Brooke said earlier is a little bit of a metaphor. When they say that's the devil, like when you no, I'm going by the Bible script. I'm going by yes. the actual. We've already read that. We've already read that a lot of times. You cannot take a lot of lies in the Bible. A lot of that stuff is not the devil. A lot of that stuff is you. Right. You have to be mean to you. That was the devil. No, honey, that bitch. That was me being shady to you. The temptation. That was not the devil. Yeah, the temptation. I believe more so in the book. I do believe that religion is playing a role in this hate. It is. Yes. It, it is. It is. It is. As we speak, at mm. from the South, it's really testing its water. Because the South is the Bible Belt. They it know is. that people are waking up. Mm-hmm. And this is the way to let To hold them back. And cold I like the way that. Because because a, lot of people, a lot of people down South are, no shade, but they're closed minded. They are. And, they, and, and, and they're the easiest targets. To preach the religion. This, this is why Donald Trump, 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 is, Trump, Trump, is, Trump is doing so well. The I, I, do do a, I do a Catholic. My mom is still a faithful to the church. She goes to you know church every Sunday. She believes. She had a very difficult time coming to terms with my trans identity. But she didn't go as far as this guest that we had, Lana. Mm-hmm. Right, like having. But it's a very important to have guests like her, so right, we yeah, can know. People like that. People like that exist. Right. But yeah. uh, I believe that religion has played a key into how this white supremacy has spread out throughout the yes. continent. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right, it's about domination. It's about having few people controlled. And they hide behind religion. And you made a too. very valid point because a lot of people use religion mm-hmm. to hide behind everything, like you exactly. said, and to control everything. Instead like, of these, right. Instead of you just, uh, let me put it instead like Instead of using religion for peace. For exactly. Right. Because my thing is, if, okay, I, had, like I was telling Fox, I had this debate with my cousin the other Friday evening. She was mm-hmm. like, oh, you're going to be with your gay friends. And did a, I said, who's my gay friends? You right. know? My friends, right. Yeah, I'm like, my friends, you're talking about whatever, whatever. And I said, she was like, oh, but that's not of God. And that's, I was, girl, I had to snap my bra. Okay. I am not going to lie. I had to sit back. I, had, I was about to, I had to read. You wanted to lay hands? Yes. <laughs> I, to, I don't even talk in tongues. I want to lay hands and start talking. Because she's you want to start talking in tongues. I don't understand what I just said. I rebuke you in the name of God. This is like a lot of people when they. I'm not gonna say when you find religion, but when they become religious, they have like this holier than thou attitude. Yeah. So my want to shout on other people, especially in the black community. Yes, yes. Especially in the black community. I got very offended, but I had to. Meanwhile, their husband. Meanwhile, their husband is sucking the altar boy off. Well, fucking him, but the only way is fucking him. Okay? But my whole thing was, I said, you want to talk about God and what's in the Bible. Yeah, he said, da, 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 da. I said, sweetie, eating pork is not of God if you read the Bible. Okay? Eating shrimp Yo, don't pick and choose. Do not pick and choose. And I hate that people pick and choose things, mm-hmm. scriptures in the Bible, and they conform it to what they believe in and what their faith is. I believe in God. That's my opinion. These lady, young ladies are spiritual. I'm spiritual. I, I still but, believe in God because I've, I, I, I've but, seen spirits with uh, yeah, exactly. my own eyes. But what I'm saying is, yeah. I cannot tell you yeah. what's who to believe in, what to believe in. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I don't like. You I don't understand mean, your own. You truth. might, you might say, "Ooh, I love Chanel, so I'm going to pray to the house yeah. of Chanel." Like I have, like, I have a problem. I have a problem with. I'm sorry, but I have a problem with the Jehovah's Witness knocking on my door and trying to force me, trying to force me to join their religion. It's, it's but they say it's us who's been trying to force our no, trans this is, the, this is the thing. Jehovah's Witness. I'm not knocking on your door. Yeah, we're not knocking on your door. We're not knocking on 
on your doorstep. He wants you to turn into a woman. As a man of fact, if you see it rocking, but, but you have so knocking. Knocking. But, but you have. But <laughs> you my know. whole thing is, you know, you want to slide pamphlets under my door about Christianity and Ooh, Catholic God, so and, and, and uh, Jehovah's Witness. But do I slide uh, SRS, how to get a sex change, yeah. how to get implants? You know, we're not, we're not, 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 there's no agenda. We're just trying to live our lives. There's no agenda. Fox spoke once about the matter that there is a big lack of therapy in the African Black American community, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and wh whoever has a problem is being sent go to church, speak to yeah. God. See, that's the God. 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 If if I was molested as a child oh. mm. and it was hush hush, okay, oh. my sister was molested by a family member and it was hush hush. My thing is with my baby. Why do you think they hush hush? Because the church. No, no, no. Within the black family. Oh yeah, yes, us. Yes. It happens a lot. It happens a lot. My thing is, ain't nothing hush hush up in here, cause I'm killing some damn body. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you and somebody touch you, you, somebody touch you, somebody say something you the wrong way, come see Big Mama, cause I'm about that life. Yes. Let's okay. end that shit. Let's end that shit right that's now. Real tea. I'm about that real tea. Tea. Okay. Zero okay. tolerance. So you basically will beat them with I will fuck you up, bitch. Fuck with one of mine. With your friends. Fuck with me and one of mine. With your friends. This is the born again Christian. With my friends. With my. I will lay hands on you. It will be blood. It will not be the blood of Jesus. It will be your blood. Because that's what fuck you Because that child. I want to say something. I want to say something. I want to say something. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so basically they're saying that this is what rapists look like. This is. That's what that's trying to say. You better check them niggas. Oh, God forgive me. I didn't say that. You better check those people that go to Chunky Cheese while mom. It's like, oh, we're at lunch, the kids are on the ball, and he's over there jerking his dick off. Oh. So mm -hmm. look at the Central Park. At Central okay. Park, there was a man who was who was selling his eleven year old son. Okay, for sex. Yeah, I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered. So no, before you what about before the bathroom issue, I cut you off. Uh -huh. It was a couple, a husband and wife, and their two sons. I want to say Texas. If I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. somewhere down south. Somewhere that's where it's always at. That's where it's always at. They let their children go to the bathroom by themselves. So we're sitting here. This is a table. That's the bathroom over there. One of the kids came back. They went together. One came back by itself. The father, and then a man walked out. Somebody was in there molesting the son. Okay, in the bathroom. A man in the men's bathroom. And the bathroom. man in the, the man in the men's bathroom was mess, molesting an unattended a, child. A, an unattended child that came in with his brother. And the brother left, and the child got molested. But my thing is, honey, I'm, I'm, I'm this bitch. Why are you so damn busy that you cannot with your but, child? First of all, if, I didn't, if I didn't, you didn't go, but why didn't you tell me? And when you saw one come out, you go, you teach your children, you go together, you come, you together, come back right. together. Because let me tell you something. You fighting my brother, you getting jumped. <laughs> okay. I'm going to keep it one yeah, so, with you. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and that's how you, you my kids are too. We go together, we leave together. If I go out with y'all, y'all fighting, trust me, I'm fighting too. So they well, now it's something, I want to say something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we only got a limited amount of time. I want to go around the table and I want to ask each one of you girls, do you feel, starting on this side, the side, do you feel that cisgender women and transgender women can coexist together in a world? Really short. I do believe so. We already are coexisting with each other. We have been for a long time, but now okay. this issue has come out to the open, and now it's creating a lot of fear, a lot of misinformation. So yes, it is possible, and that's why myself as an activist, I'm so challenging, you know, white supremacy, capitalism, and and patriarchism, because if we don't challenge the core of what creates yes. this division, we're never going to get passed through. So okay. to me, it's the liberation. It's one way that we can all coexist in, in a more um, humane way. Yes. way and positive way. Um, yes, I think it's possible. I really do. I mean, like like she just said, you know. I mean, it's possible. It, we're proving the impossible. We have a cisgendered woman here yes. talking with us. So I think it's very, very. Possible. And we had another cisgender woman. And on the phone, phone you know, like you, you know, disagree with what we just said. I, I did disagree, disagree with her when I first saw the thing, but that's why I kept quiet and let her say what she had to say, so mm -hmm. I can hear what she had to say. You know, I feel like the little bit of questions I did ask her, you know, she, it, it, it opened her eyes a smidge to where I was coming from. So, but um, yeah, I think it's possible. I really do. I really do think, as far as religion, um, I think that's something that they use 
um, to, to put fear in people. They right? do. Like yeah. they do. I, I, and to anybody that sees me from the outside would think I'm a, I'm a Christian, but I don't go to, uh, a Baptist, excuse me, I don't go to um, church. But I also believe that we can have church. This right now, us three. But you don't have the ch- church is the building. Church is right. the building. Well, no, the, the Bible says, yourself. you're right. The Bible says two that. Two or more. You know, yeah, two or more. So the fact that we just, you, I, and her just had um, um, this conversation, we did our little church. You know, I love, I, I've learned in life that I've been blessed. You know, and I, I, my mom taught me, and you know, growing up, and we do what we do, but we don't go to church, you know. But like I said, we sitting, you know, two or more. That's church and stuff. I love gospel music, and I know that every time something goes well for myself, you know, um, I give it to, I give it to him. Thank you, Jesus, because you know, every time I pray to him, and he's always there. He may not show up on time. Uh, may not. He, uh, he may he not answer you right. He may not answer when you call, but he shows up on time. So, um, yeah, you know, as far as I'm with you on that one. Um, I think that we can coexist. We have been coexisting since the beginning of time. Um, there are a lot of gender fluid, gender nonconforming people who have been in spaces with cis people. When you go to the bathroom, you go into a stall, a closed stall, and close the door and do your thing. You drop your bowel movement, you piss, you wipe your hands and right. leave. Please. There's no, this so whole, it, it's ridiculous and it's, it's, it's crazy how it's trending. There's bigger things going on in the world. Um, and um, as far as religion, you know, like I said, I don't believe in the re- in, in religions because I feel like it segregates people. You know, if you're Jewish, you can't be with a Christian. I, I just don't agree with all that. I don't think it's, it doesn't make sense to me. But um, I do believe in higher powers. I believe in an unknown power. Mm-hmm. Um, I know good things have happened to me, bad things have happened to me. I know I try to be a good person and that's all I can say. Mm-hmm. Um, I do believe that we can coexist. I believe in a very twisted way that this issue that's going on right now is going to force the, um, it's going to give birth to transgender advocates and transgender, transgender advocates. And advocates. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Advocates. Yes, it's gonna give birth to a transgender Dr. Martin Luther King of the transgender people. Some, it's gonna happen. Going it might be, it might be, yes, among, yes, it might be one of us be. here, we never know. Because it's Why certainly not. And, and one thing I wanna say is that it's so funny, and rest in peace Prince, who yes. are Chris and China, two people who have been mistaken who as touched, gender non-conforming. Right. Who pushed the gender lines? My whole thing is that, you know, everyone loves Prince, Purple Rain, this and that, but yet you're the same people who gay bash and trans bash mm-hmm. when Prince symbol was the transgender symbol with a slash on it, if you look at it closely. So it's just a lot of things you should open your mind to. You know, yes. everyone who turned their, they turned their icon on Facebook to Prince, but yet you want a couple of faggots and trannies. And I, you need um, to, you know, learn to, you know, Prince was, he could have had been secretly a transgender in his own right. And I also want to take this time to apologize publicly for calling out Laverne Cox to be a spokesperson for um, the um, transgender restroom issue in Alabama. Um, I was just very passionate about what I felt, and I just and I know that she has a lot of things going on. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You know, love you, girl, and um, yeah, this, and it's rare that Alabama girls, you know, make anything of themselves as far as yes. like in the, in the community because yes. the girls over there are suffering. Yeah, they're all leaving. Well, we have been coexisting from the beginning of time. Right now, I can only speak from the trans Latina community where 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 I am around. It's always if they need money, they go to a trans woman. They need a babysitter, a trans woman. <laughs> they need advice, a trans yeah, woman. Maybe exactly. they hate us, and then but when when they invite us to our house and they have guests, then and and, and a guest gravitates towards us. Uh, the 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 cattiness. They always have to say, oh, you like her, right? You know she's a boy? Yeah, you, you've seen it. Yeah, the mm-hmm. same story. They, st- they, they stab us in the back. So I tell to my girls, be careful. Like, I can coexist with anyone. As long as you're not coming for my man, we cool. That? <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not coming for me and mom, we, we good. Brother. And that's what, that's that goes for female archery. That goes for female or male. And, and, that's, and, that's, and that's, that's, a big, big, that's a big issue with that a lot of cis women, natural women, feel that we, we're we basically sexual I creatures. Like, I mean, I that we want to too. basically crawl on tables and twerk. Like, you know. Yeah. So yeah. You know what? Here's the, here's the real tea. 
these restrooms, honey, you're going to be pushing us in your man's arms. Exactly. If you let us go into Basically, the man's restroom. Yeah. 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 We are not the ones to blame. I told you. I said, I will get, I will, if I, you want to go to the bathroom. Your man's going to see all of this. I'm going to go to the bathroom. He's going to go to the bathroom. Are you sure? Come to the rally, stand with us. Stop. What do you mean? I'm so not doing it. He's going to come in the stall. He's going to come in the stall. You're going to see what he's doing now. Oh, you want my calling in to see you? We're just keeping it real here. Down. That's what's going to happen. What's so, going to be fun, you guys? Yeah, yeah we definitely. It was so actually. Let's continue the conversation in our after show. Yeah, yeah. Tune into the after show. Thank you for having me. I want to thank Laquetta. Jaquetta. Jaquetta, I'm so sorry. All that, what's your name? I want to thank Jaquetta. from another man. I want to thank Jaquetta for, for being our first cisgender woman to come thank on the show. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Yes. And I want to thank Lena Dominguez for joining us on Skype and having the debate with us. And I also want to thank the beautiful uh, Jenny Jenny Say. Say. Oh my God! Always say wrong. Jenny Say. Jenny Say. I have an aunt named Jenny Say. No, Jenny thank Say. you so much for having me. It's yes. Probably an experience, and I do want to say that as we move forward with these difficult conversations, we really need to be intentional, and we also need to be intersectional. That's exactly. how we're going to find solutions. Exactly. Yeah, that, that was beautiful. Okay. Well, um. Are we gonna wrap this order? Any closing yeah. arguments? Anyone? Anyone that could contact you? If anyone yeah, you want to go down the line and you want to? On Twitter, uh, translatinas underscore ny, and from there you can find connections to my Spanish Twitter, which is Guadalajara underscore nyc, and she's my sister from my home state, from Jalisco. So That's she's right. she's been staying at my house. So I've been in heaven to have someone from my That's hometown. Amazing. Um, I want to just say yeah. to all my Facebook followers, please do not get mad at me when you send me a friend request and the first thing you do is video chat me and I don't know you from Adam from Eve or you send me a message and I still don't know you from Adam from Eve and it's a sexual content because that will get you what? Blocked! Yeah. 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 You are blocked! Yeah. You get you blocked! Oh, oh, right. Never mind! If it, oh, I do. forgot I forgot one thing. I do I do hold Miss uh, Laverne Cox accountable. I think she can be doing a lot more, especially because last year, 18 of the 23 women uh, that got murdered, they were black. So I know she wants <coughs> her to get her Oscar, but you know, you already your career is already set. You are the first trans woman ever to do Eric on the Time mm -hmm. magazine. You're you're always gonna be okay. So you can definitely you're not you know Sydney Poitier uh, and so many others they risk their lives, their careers, and mm -hmm. everything to speak up. So I I, I do but disagree. We, but I mean but I, but I do expect more from you because but we I can't know expect Laverne Cox to be superwoman. We cannot. No, we all you have to do is, is just tweet about it. Person. All you have to do is tweet about she it. She has done that though. She, she has tweeted about that. But you know what, people? Yeah. You know what's we, funny? We, we, need, but you we know what? Let's, let's we need more leaders. We cannot rely on one person to do everything. I'm not relying. Let's I'm not relying on no one, obviously, because I'm doing the work. Yeah. I just want. I mean, if you have that leverage, that muscle media that you have, all you have to do is just. And people are following. But you know what? But you know what? You know what? Check us out on Facebook, Familia Trans Queer Liberation Movement. Support organizations that can create multiple leaders that we can all fight this together. Thank you. Fox News, MSNBC, CNN, Ashley Reed on my Facebook. Okay. GMN made, Living Man made coming up. Remember, you guys, love yourself, dream it, love it, live. As we always like to say, if you can't be real, at least be real with yourself. Damn self. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, share. That's what we like. Yeah. <laughs>